The long-term goal or the aspiration of my laboratory at the University of Michigan, uh, as well as the entrepreneurial activities that I've been involved in, is basically to really understand an individual's cancer uh, in a comprehensive way and tailor the drug therapy based on that. The future that we all imagine is a world in which cancer is a chronic disease. It's a disease that's managed almost like HIV is today, where for each molecular subtype of cancer, we have a suite of therapies that can keep that cancer at bay and, and, and people can live long, healthy lives uh, even with cancer. One of the ways to really have impact on society and to really uh, generate products that will have impact on others, I think, is really to basically be able to commercialize your technology. Rule uh, is a big thinker, uh, he's ambitious, and if the lab isn't the best place for something to materialize, he's quick to realize, you know, let's, let's find whatever means necessary to make this happen. Since I was an undergrad and all throughout my career, I've stayed here at the University of Michigan. So I think one of the reasons has really been the progressive aspect uh, of the technology transfer office and the entrepreneurial sort of uh, opportunities that uh, the university has uh, sort of provided me. A rule, and there are a number of other uh, faculty at the university with that same entrepreneurial spirit. So I think it's it's really matching the the, the students with with that interest up with the faculty, and then taking advantage of all the university resources. And I think that anything's possible. The environment here at the University of Michigan, I think, is amazing for entrepreneurship in terms of being able to bring together uh, the right type of multidisciplinary expertise together in terms of really sort of translating technology from an academic environment as well as sort of the business expertise. The tech transfer office from day one, uh, when we called them up and said, hey, we think we've got something here. Uh, we're, we're getting interest from the pharmaceutical industry. Can you help us put licensing terms together and put contracts together? They jumped in and basically served as the business arm of this laboratory enterprise. That's one of the missions of big public academic research institution is to truly take the science that we create and turn it into something that benefits the public. An 11-year-old girl that, had, that has leukemia that we identified essentially through this sequencing effort what the key driver for that individual pediatric patient was. And this patient uh, has been in remission for 18 months, and this has been amazingly gratifying for me to, to see that. And we're looking for more and more uh, of those uh, anecdotes. I think that's certainly what keeps us up at, at night, sort of driving this technology forward and being able to sort of extend it uh, across more cancer patients. We're truly helping people. We're tackling one of humanity's biggest problems.